I haven't posted in a couple of days and I've gone through maybe one or two stretches like this and I feel insanely, I wouldn't say guilty, but I feel like I'm falling off the map. Like people are going to forget about me or people are going to think that I haven't been playing when it's really the opposite. I've just been playing so much that I just can't post. I've been playing multiple gigs a day, which is great. The ironic thing is that, you know, we, a lot of musicians, myself included, use social media really as a way to let people know what they're doing, as a way to show that they are in demand and trying to get more gigs that way. And now I'm at the point where like, I don't have time to post on social media because I have so many gigs. And it's ironic that I'm just kind of silent online and maybe Maybe this is in my head, but sometimes when I see someone who isn't posting a lot, I'm like, oh, maybe they're not doing anything. When in reality, they're just out there in the real world grinding every day. But it kind of brings me to a really interesting point um, where both my social media and my career are kind of at, at similar points. And I like them to mirror each other. And I also like them to evolve. And right now I'm at the point where, okay, I'm doing a lot of work, a lot of gigs, and I've been posting a lot of videos, which is not a problem at all. And so now that I've gotten into this flow and this habit, now I'm taking a step back and like, okay, so I have this quantity of material and this quantity of gigs, which is great. Now how, what do I want to do with that? And one thing I would like to really explore is focusing more on quality. Now, that's not to say I don't show up at gigs and not give my best effort, or I'm not giving my best effort when I'm creating videos for YouTube. But right now I'm thinking, okay, instead of just putting stuff out there and going and rolling with it, maybe I should be a little bit more intentional. And the same thing with my gigs, instead of just accepting every single gig and playing and working as much as possible, which is not bad, now, okay, now I've kind of gotten to this groove where I can put stuff out every day, I can gig every day. What do I want to do next, okay? And it's the old quantity versus quality. And I, instead of just, just throwing everything out there and just making a video every five minutes, I'm thinking, what if I kind of spend more time and do like maybe one long form video a week and maybe a couple shorter ones each week? Or maybe just one. Or maybe do three a week, who knows? But not do every day. Um, and the same thing with gigs. In the sense that I want to keep playing, but do I want to be playing 12 gigs a week like I have been? And it's great for money, and it's great for me to get a new genre of music under my belt. And it's great for experience in quickly learning material or quickly adapting to new players, new personalities, new situations, and not getting rattled. And it's all great, but everything needs to evolve, right? And if I want to do that the rest of my life, play on Broadway, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that because quite frankly, it's paying my bills. But also, I want to kind of what do I want to do? Do I just want to be a sideman for the rest of my life? Um, do I want to maybe explore some other avenues musically? Do I want to get on some bigger stages? And the same thing with my content. You know, instead of just cranking stuff out every day, what do I want to do? So sitting down and thinking, I'm thinking right now, first I need to get through this week because it is CMA Fest here in Nashville, and there's an influx of people, an influx of gigs. It is like four or five days of just nonstop. So I'm gonna do as many gigs I can this week, work as much as I can, meet as many people as I can, strike while the iron's hot, um, you know, pad my bank accounts, and then I'm going to take a couple days off and think, what do I wanna do with my career? What do I want to do with my content? And I think they both kind of are going to mirror each other. They need to evolve. So what I want to do with my career is 
I want to think, be intentional about what I'm doing. Where am I going? What's my goal? And I'm going to figure that out. Um, but I know that I want to do music on a bigger scale. I want to do things that are maybe more artistically fulfilling to me. Maybe that's more recording work. Maybe that's doing more original gigs. But I want a bigger piece of the pie while also not having to play eight hours every day. And I think that there's a little bit of risk involved because the money on Broadway is so regular and so steady and so good that if I start pursuing other maybe original artists, um, maybe some other avenues outside of that, they don't pay quite as well right away. And I have to take some calculated risks. And so I think the same thing with what I'm doing with my social media. I'm thinking, okay, I want to be intentional with it. And I really want to, I see what I'm doing online is, it's given me control of, over my career in some ways. Whereas that I can slowly start building something. I'm not sure what, but I want to intentionally have some targets where, okay, I can build something where maybe I have an audience. Maybe I have some kind of way that I'm monetizing what I'm doing online so that if I'm playing with a major artist, I also have something else to fall back on. Let's say if that artist decides I don't want to play music anymore or if I get fired or if I just burn out from music. Thing is when you're an instrumentalist like a drummer, there's only so much control over your career that you can have. And one thing I like about what I'm doing with social media is that I'm thinking I'm planting seeds so that I can eventually have a path where I can control a little bit more of my own destiny and my own income. So that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to maybe sit down and kind of, instead of having this broad target and just trying to get followers and just putting stuff out, maybe I can make things, I can hone in, okay, this is what I'm going for. Both with my content but then also with my musical work. Because if I don't have a target to aim for, I'm just taking every gig and I'm just maybe sometimes spinning my wheels. But if I sit down and say, this is what I want to focus on going forward, then I can kind of make decisions based on that. For example, let's say I want to be working the arena tours, like playing with a major artist. I'm not saying that's my goal. It's not a bad goal to have, but let's say I want to do that. Then every gig that's offered to me, every opportunity, I can say, does this get me closer or further away from that goal? Both financially and career-wise. Um, and sometimes maybe it's yes to one of those things or maybe no to both of those things, but it gives me something that I can kind of aim for. So that's what I'm going to be planning on doing and also planning on just kind of developing, I guess, a strategy or being a little bit more intentional and precise with what I'm doing. Because right now, man, I'm pressed for time. And I'm also realizing that I have to start guarding my time and my energy because it's a precious commodity for me. Because there's a small amount of it. There's only so much I can put in. So what do I want to invest my energy into? Because right now, I've gotten over this hump where, okay, I can work regularly and pay my bills. I know the material to be playing down here. I have a certain level of confidence in my playing. I know I always want to be better. So now that I've gotten that under my belt, let's start thinking about the next adventure, the next way to evolve. So I guess the next step is for me to like think about what I want to do and start focusing a little bit more on quality of material and being intentional with the work I accept, both in the amounts of work I accept, what kind of work I accept, and what I'm gonna invest my time and energy into. So I have about a backlog, about a couple of weeks of material um, that I need to get through and maybe upload. And then I think within like the, you know, the coming weeks, you'll see me start shifting towards a little bit of a different model. Because also, I started just recording gigs so people could see me play because I was new in town and I just wanted to get a catalog of performances so that people know that I could play a bunch of different styles and that I play with a bunch of different people. And now that I got that accomplished, I don't need to focus so much on say, all right, here's another performance, here's another performance. 
you know, I save all my videos and I put them on a Dropbox. Um, so if anyone wants to see me play a different style, I can send that to them. But I have like a, a good 50 videos of me playing different styles on YouTube right now, on Instagram, which is great, mission accomplished. So now that we got that out of the way, let's start focusing in a little bit more. So you're gonna see a little bit more focus from me. If you have thoughts on this, things you would like to see more of, less of, please let me know. Seriously, drop in a comment. Um, and if you like what I'm doing here, and if you like seeing this, this process, again, if you like or you subscribe, really helps to let me know um, that people are watching and helps, I guess, pretty much get me out there. And the more people that follow, the more I can kind of start thinking, okay, who's following me? What kind of material, material can I create? So if you watched this far in this video, but also in this year, thanks so much. And uh, I look forward to creating a lot more uh, quality content and music going forward.